not gonna be alone again. I'm not going I can't do it anymore. In LA, I did not get laid at all. I have the most underutilized pussy in the state of California. <laughs> it, I'm ashamed. They wouldn't they would not have sex. These men out there are so consumed with the business. But here in New York, I love the way guys are kind of gangster. Like weed being legal here is great for my boyfriend. Because when he was going to get weed, I'm like, go get us some weed. He put on a black tracksuit, a ski mask. What the fuck? I don't want meth. I want marijuana. Where are you going? <laughs> we free, Curtis Blow. You're not doing this no more. What's wrong with you? When a guy asks me, how many men have you made love to before me? I'll tell them the number, but I'm going to use creative accounting. <laughs> OK, this is how I do it. If you and I have only had sex in a car, you don't count. It's dangerous. <laughs> we all could die, OK? If you and I have only done it in your mom's house, you're a loser and need privacy, because I'm a screamer. You understand, OK? If you and I have only had sex <laughs> in my house, you homeless. <laughs> I'm not going to bone somebody homeless knowingly, <laughs> OK? Most importantly, if you've never given me an orgasm, you don't count. Because my motto is, yeah, go ahead and clap that. That is so deep. Because my motto is, if I don't come, you don't count. It's on the back of my car. That's my Biden sticker. If I don't come, you don't count. No, that's nasty. I wouldn't do that. That's gross. The walk of shame. Never subscribe to that. I don't understand. What's the walk? I call it the walk of pride. When I get laid, I would have my purse like a baton, walking out the house like, yay! Guess who got some? Mr. Mailman, what's up? I don't know why we're ashamed to get laid. <laughs> what's funny that I recently asked my boyfriend to watch porn. You know what's funny? I'm like, you pick the category. I'm like, you have lead. Pick whatever you're into. That could have been anything. He picked black BBW. <laughs> I said, you want to watch us fuck? <laughs> Turn the mirror around. Why are we going online? <laughs> every, every movie you picked up looked like me, looked like me. I'm like, you, you have a fat girl fetish. You just into this? <laughs> oh, God, it's just a... <laughs> I'm a feminist, clearly. I'm trying to do what men do, what he does at this age. I'm like, I can do whatever men do. Because he's been, he's been a weed smoker since he was like four. And I'm like, I can smoke what you smoke. So he made me smoke what he smokes to show me that I can't. He rolled it. I had a puff at his dinner table. I got up to go to the bathroom. I stopped in the hallway to lay down to take a nap. You understand <laughs> how high you got to be to need rest immediately? But one of the real reasons why I left LA, if I were to be real with you guys, I was getting high too often. The weed was everywhere. I was enjoying the release and not being all in my head all the time. First time, so that's partly why I moved. Because in LA, they have pre-rolls. Mystery pre-roll. You don't know what the hell is in them. It could be PCP, acid, crack. You don't know what's in them. I had two pre-rolls, and me and this guy I was dating at the time were in my apartment smoking these mystery pre-rolls. A level of high I can't even explain. The, the, all the lights are off, the room is dark, I'm, he's on the couch, I'm sitting on his lap straddling him, we're about to, you know, right? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and we're in the middle of it, we're so high, but when I tell you I got so high, I was straddling him, he was inside of me. I got so high that in the middle of the whole thing, I was like, who is this? 